guitar players, we are always searching for the ultimate tone. Today I will address a basic issue that everyone using a pedal board is struggling with. The problem is impedance mismatch. A high impedance signal is very sensitive to resistance or to what load it sees. A low impedance signal is not. Most guitars and basses use passive magnetic pickups and they typically have a high impedance output. Now, whenever you want to do some A-B testing, it's important to know your reference point. Um, in this case, your reference point is your guitar connected using a six meter cable directly to your amp. Most amplifiers have a one mega ohm, which is one million ohm input impedance. So it's very important that the guitar sees a load that's identical to that of an amplifier. In the perfect world, all stomp boxes would have an input impedance of one mega ohm or higher, but that is not the case. Let me show you an example. I made a small uh, setup here. I'm sorry about the mess, but um, we had to do this fairly quick. So this is the direct sound. Now I'm going through five pedals all bypassed. Direct sound. Pedals. Direct. You notice that we lose uh, a little volume and some highs. And when you lose the highs, you lose the harmonics, you lose all the fun stuff. Some of the really great dynamic stuff is, is uh, the first thing that you lose. So here's the direct stomp boxes. Now we'll engage the buffer. Again, take it away. with the buffer. Sorry about the pops, but it's all passive so that nothing is influencing it. And again, pedals. And back to the original. Did you notice how the sound changed? We lost volume and we lost high frequencies. This is mainly caused by an impedance mismatch. The first pedal in line has an input impedance of 100K or 100,000 ohm instead of one mega, as we wanted. And the output impedance of the last pedal is way too high to drive a long cable back to your amp. How could we solve this? The solution is using a buffer as the very first unit. A buffer is a small amplifier circuit that converts your high impedance input to a low impedance output. It has the same input impedance as an amplifier, which means the guitar will sound the way it should. And the output is low impedance, which means it's less sensitive to what load it sees. Now, there are different buffers on the market and they don't sound the same. It's a small amplifier circuit, so it will have a sound of its own, but make sure you choose a good one that doesn't color your sound. The buffer will take care of the weakest point in your system, your guitar. At Caveman Audio, we've developed a buffer called Buff One, and beside the input buffer, we added a second buffer to help you drive even very long cables from your pedal board back to your amp without any tonal loss. Adding this pedal to your pedal board will really improve your tone. Is this the ultimate solution? No, it's not. We can improve our setup even more. We have two solutions that offers what we believe is the ultimate solution. The MR5 and the MR10 loop system. The MR5 will support five pedals. Um, the MR10, yes, 10 pedals. You get to experience the real sound of your stump boxes without the impedance mismatch that you normally have in conventional loop systems. 
The MR system features impedance correction on every loop, on both the input and the output side. And the result is that each stomp box sounds as if it was the only unit in your system, regardless of what combination you select. The MR series is without a doubt the most noiseless and silent switching loop system available, even in high gain and very high volume applications. And of course, they support both MIDI program and control change commands. Some would probably think, well, is this really needed because my pedals have true bypass? Well, I'm sorry to say, but true bypass is more a marketing gimmick than an asset to your sound. It makes things even a lot more complex. As the impedance misalignments gets even more random, depending on the combination of stop boxes being on or off. So don't be fooled by this true bypass thing. I'll explain this issue in depth in another video. I highly recommend you to have a look at your pedal board. And if you don't already have a buffer, get one and choose a good one that doesn't color your sound. I hope you found this video useful and that this can help you to get the step closer to the ultimate tone. Subscribe to our newsletter to get even more tips and advices.